Um, do we want to hit the final topic? I can. We can skip. Get it uh, over with. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So Ryan says, "Get it over with." Let's do it. Um, the the with with Cody now coming to to Monday Night Raw and to the, back to WWE, um, you know, I, I I think it kind of you know brings up the question: like, does this does this make it more likely that some AEW wrestlers, um, when their deals are up? actually make their way to wwe does like does this have an impact on it like are, are there cody guys that that maybe wouldn't have crossed the line before um that that would now um and i mean even even just in general i mean i think as deals expire and and we see some contracts not being renewed um you know i i i think you know that there's there's wrestlers out there that that if wwe looks and gives them a deal like if AEW is not giving them a deal why not um but but are there any wrestlers on the AEW roster that, that you think will end up uh in the wwe within the next year or two i think the answers can be kind of easy um there's three people i can think of off the top of my head that are plausible to make the jump just in relation to Cody. You have, go ahead. No, no, I'm you, counting for you. Okay. Um, I would say 10 from the dark order pressed in Vance. Okay. Uh, that is a, that's a Cody guy. If I've ever seen one. Um, I would say Ricky Starks. Ricky Skaggs. Ricky Starks. Um, I think I think try out. Mm -hmm. I think that Cody is enough to get him a bump into coming in. Um, But number one is kind of like the easiest, low hangingest fruit answer, and that's MJF. Um, With Cody being there and 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 MJF absolutely being a Cody guy, Um, I can see where Cody could kind of prop the door open for old Max to to slide in and, and make a name for himself in the WWE. So we're, just so we're on board. That is an incredibly watered down MJF and nobody will like it. Like, yeah, can MJF be MJF in the WWE? Absolutely MJF not. MJF can be MJF without swearing. Like There's MJF no MJF can't be MJF. MJF can't do autograph signings and, and does what MJF does currently. Absolutely not. Well, like he can't get the MJF is going to tell a little kid, I'm not going to autograph your picture and your dad should have pulled out. He's not going to be able to In do the that. WWE, he can't do the things people like him to do. He'll probably I mean, he... sign. He's going to suck. I'm so On angry camera, at you. That's, that's the thing too, is that MJF kind of lives his character outside of the ring. And WWE is very much a, this is who we are on television, and this is who we aren't on television. And Max would just play the difference. I think, I hate to make the easy layup comparison, but he's the Miz. Sure. He's someone who can be extremely hateable on television as a wrestler, but be relatable as a dude. Yeah. Not wrestling. Oh, I'm dramatic. sorry. K Fabe is dead. <laughs> but it's not like he's the one that it's not. He would give the connoisseur kid the finger. He absolutely would. And that's why I like MJF. And you, go I, to I, the, I and you don't that. get that. You get the fucking Miz. You already have him. Why bring him over? Because the Miz isn't going to be wrestling forever. Yeah, the Miz and is you have to 42. Reset. The Miz is 42 and MJF is 24. So you're literally getting another 20 years of the Miz if you bring in MJF. And like easy. I and I think you can get away with MJF giving like the fans the finger uh, at WrestleMania access. Stone Cold can't. But but Stone Cold's not a heel. Stone Cold in 2020 you know, 2015 and beyond 
isn't Stone Cold Steve Austin the heel in the Attitude Era. I mean, and and I mean, and heel Edge today isn't heel Edge. The guy can't. I don't want to hate Edge, but the WWE's making me. But right. I'm hating Edge, <laughs> not because of what Ed, like, Tim not because of Edge, Edge, but because Edge is garbage. Yes. <laughs> Would you say he lost his Edge, Tim? His Edge. He lost, he lost his, his Edge. edge. He, yeah, um, he lost all of it. But like, what you guys? What do you? What do you? Who do you guys think go, makes the jump from AEW to WWE? I mean, I think MJF does. I just, I don't like it. That's all. I think uh, the name Wardlow comes up and talks that he's he looks like a WWE guy. That would be fine. I personally think the WWE is a sucker for like family and legacy style gimmicks. I could see them bringing in the uh, the Gun Club and bring back badass Billy Gunn, and you have that great thing. I can see them reuniting with Arn Anderson and bringing old Brock Anderson back and the legacy of Brock. There's a reason Brock. Cody Rhodes is back, and there's a reason his first big promo was very dusty heavy. It's because it's easy for the WWE. You can do the same thing with those two. So Gun Club, Brock Anderson, uh, and on the ladies, Jade fucking Cargill. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's a woman on the AEW roster that's more that looks more like a WWE superstar than Jade Cargill. Yeah, I, I mean, thinking, I was, yep, Jade Cargill. She's Matt, sports sure. entertainment. Um, MJF is sports entertainment. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I'd like to see Ruby come back too. Sure, she can wrestle on main event. She's wrestling on dark. <laughs> it's it's one in the same. Uh, sadly. Fair. Um, she's a real diamond in the rough, that Ruby. <laughs> Jesus. Um, and this fucking show. On that note, <laughs> I I, I feel like that. I feel like before his time in the business is is done, Jericho comes home. I think yeah, Jericho so gets, gets one last, even if it's one last match. I think his final match is in WWE. I think he gets but a I final match yeah. at Hall of Fame together. Yeah. Yep. Here's I don't want to like dig it up with this, but it's like I feel like Jericho comes back to WWE regardless of whatever Cody did. I feel like the question being posed is okay, now that Cody's here, who comes? Okay. That's fair. That's I don't fair. think it's, and I don't think Jade Cargill's terrible. on that list too. I don't no, think Cody's yet, will. Cody's the reason Jade comes. I think I didn't, Jade I didn't comes, really think of it that way. I just I, I thought it was within two years or whenever their their things up. I didn't really tie it to Cody. I know that's what I Jim kinda, said, but that's not what's on the screen. That's all right. But that was in, Jim but changes also the shit as he show. goes. He's the host. That's, that's true. I do do. Yeah, that. I mean, this is the, this was from the show notes feed. I so. mean, we have we have five minutes left, and he's like, "Hey, yeah. let's talk about AEW now." So, I mean, I right, in right my time. defense, I tried to pass the topic, and you said, "No, let's talk about." You it. tried to cut it all together, right? This is the right. Colin New about. Day comment section, right? We that's we happened. could have put it on another night and talked about it for a minute and a half, but you wanted to do this now, so. <laughs> Kobe. I think I think there's a list of like Hall of Fame people that are that are separate. I think Big sure. Show's yeah, in the Hall of fair. Fame comes back. That's... I think uh, the Hardys are in the Hall of Fame comes back. Mark Henry's mm. Hall of Fame comes back. Yeah. What about the Big Show? Jericho. I said Big yeah. Show. Yeah, I'm Jericho. Sorry. I don't like it, but he'll be in the Hall no of Fame. BS. Yeah. Um, I mean, CM Punk. I think eventually comes back. If there's business to be had, he will be there. I think uh, so. Um, I think Christian eventually comes back. Sure. He's like, in the literally. Hall of Fame. I would say more than more so than CM Punk. I think CM Punk comes back. Is Christian in he, the hall? Yeah. No. no yeah. No. 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 Ed, Ed, Not yet. Etch is, is in there, but Christian. Oh, well, yeah, Christian, Christian, Christian get in by himself, or do they put Etch and Christian in? Yeah, I think Christian like gets in by himself. Like. Okay. I really feel like I feel like he would have been if he didn't go to AEW. Probably. Um but yeah, I I totally think that there's there's a there's room for opportunity for CM Punk to to come back to the WWE for the Hall of Fame. But I, I think I think Wardlow as well. Um I think you WWE is gonna point. try yeah. to get Wardlow, whether or not he 
comes over uh, is is a different That's story. Fair. But I, I think that that pitch is going to be there. Um, I can't think of any others. Sean Spear, Yon Spears. Fuck. Like, That's like, another Cody guy. They can keep him. He's got a WWE legacy. Like he's a perfect ten. Yeah. Like, um. Really, but it's okay. And like. <laughs> Here's my only thought. Here's my thought process with even that. If Cody gets Sean back in the WWE, then Sean could get Peyton to come back to the yep. WWE, yep. which means we can get the Iconics back in WWE. And if if it turns me on, if Sean Spears has to be the gateway drug to get the Iconics back in the WWE, so I'll hit it. That's fair. Yep. I can deal with it. Fair. I can deal with that, I suppose. I don't like that. <laughs> is, um, there any, is there any Nightmare Family guys like to trained at the Nightmare Factory that... I mean, Devin says QT. I don't know if the WWE brings in QT. Yeah, QT but... might sign as a trainer. I was going to say, I don't think he's ever a wrestler. Or a producer. Mark, look who I showed think up. There's... Luna Kitty showed up. I think there's a spot. I think there's a spot for for QT. Um, Anthony Agogo. Okay. Yeah. I I think that he's had a hell still, of a career in AEW. I think that I think that there's dollar signs uh -huh. with him in the WWE. Well, they got WWE, to solve racism in WWE. WWE loves their WWE loves their legit athletes turn superstars. He's a he's an Olympic boxer. Who wants to wrestle? Absolutely. Um, what was Gable Stevenson? Was he a wrestler? He was a wrestler. Uh, wrestler. Oh, He's wrestler. Wrestler. He did okay. that. He did that real stuff. <laughs> um, yeah, too real. Shoddy Lee Johnson is like probably the star pupil from the Nightmare Family. Oh, Shoddy Lee. Oh, Shoddy Lee Johnson. Shoddy uh, Lee Johnson. Oh, per indeed. <sighs> Per. Per. But yeah, like everybody per. else, anybody per. else, like I think those are the ones who are probably per. closest to Cody that get in. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't think I we see a giant wave of people deflecting though either. I don't. I don't think that happens. I no, think it's, I don't think so. I think things yeah. will naturally happen back and forth. And I think to Tim's point, if if AEW didn't exist. Christian's already in the Hall of Fame, and I don't think Wrestle's maybe but a few indie dates. I think Big Show's already in the Hall of Fame and Mark not Henry. tied to AEW. Mark Henry's in the Hall of Fame and never went to mm -hmm. AEW. I think these are things that would have happened within the last year, two years, that with Is AEW it, here and willing to take a chance from these older names and wrestle and let them, you know, bop around or whatever. You know, run two depends. years over there. Go back. I home. think it all depends on who well, Tony re signs and who he doesn't, too. Mark Henry is in the Hall of Fame. Okay. Big Show yeah. is not. Big Show oh, is not. Right well, Mark Henry already uh, Mark is. Henry. Oh, okay. Well, Mark Henry. Mark went played. in in 2018. That, okay. That's right. He did. That's when he retired. Um, John Cena. He made that plea to Martha to, to let right. the right. kids but come back. Right. Yep. Yep. Um, but yeah, I, I think it depends, too, because, like, you know, it, it, it does seem like. Tony is is you know is definitely taking a he's definitely changed his stance because you know six months ago it was that like if you're AEW you're AEW for life kind of a thing and you know we're already seeing um you know we saw you know what happened with Big Swole and then we Marco Stunt is not being renewed and I'm not I'm not banging the drum for Marco Stunt to be an AEW lifer but um you know it, it's we're, I think we're going to see over the next four to six months how how many how many people on those initial deals don't get brought back because there's a lot of people that aren't being used on weekly t like TBS TNT like they may be getting stuff on dark and dark elevation but they're not they're not being utilized on on the cable TV program so you know and, and I get it. I mean, if people are tuning in to see John Moxley and Adam Cole and uh, Keith Lee, and and they're not tuning in to see the library. So I get it. I'm not. I'm not faulting them for it. It's. It, but I'm curious to see who from those in initial deals 
don't get renewed, and I think that'll play into it as well. Was Leva Bates, and I'm going to use the word hotter, not a, not not attractive. Was she any hotter than when she was with Enzo and Cass as blue pants, or was that like height of her powers? That's uh, that was, that was height. Yeah, it's definitely height of powers. That was okay. height for sure. For sure. Um, anybody else? You know. 